Our goal is to make really durable, robust parts, and that doesn't exist in prosthetics right now. My name is Braden Leonard. I'm a recent amputee, I would say about three and a half years now. I lost my hand to a flesh-eating bacterial infection, and in order to uh, prevent the infection from killing me, uh, they had to amputate my hand. Almost immediately after I got out of the hospital, I started looking for prosthetics. I was hoping to be able to return to uh, active duty as a firefighter. I wasn't able to find anything uh, that I felt comfortable uh, returning to work in. So I traveled around the country a little bit and everyone was kind of doing pretty much the same thing. I didn't see a, a tremendous amount of innovation. So we're trying to approach it more as a piece of gear than, than a medical device. We've been taking a page out of climbing and, and sailing hardware, like really durable, small parts. Similar to a carabiner, so you could buy a carabiner and you know what this carabiner can withstand, what, what sort of fall it can take before it fails. We've been working with single prototypes. I'm trying to make a short production run now, so I'll be able to uh, use some of them to go on a cross-country motorcycle ride with my father. We're gonna go from Seattle to New England. It'll be a good test of everything that we've done. It'll be, you know, long days on the bike. Um, and then furthermore, some of these other parts we're trying to get out to uh, pilot testers. So we're looking for people that might be interested in trying something new uh, to be able to ad advance their abilities and, you know, get back to living, living the life that they want to live. That's my, my ultimate goal. I, I, coming from, again, my background as a firefighter and a medic, uh, that was kind of my day to day. We'd go out and, you know, you'd help someone and, and I, I always found that to be rewarding. So I'd like to be able to continue to do that, you know, on this new chapter in my life. And it's definitely empowering, uh, just the technology that's available now. You, know, you can have an idea, draw it up, 3D print it, and have something in your hands within a few days that you know before would have taken taken weeks or months. Uh, even if it's just a proof of concept, you know a lot of uh, the 3D printers aren't capable of producing parts that are strong enough to use right off the bat. Uh, there, there are there are some that are available, but they're they're incredibly expensive. Uh, the technology is trickling down, and and it's becoming more affordable. But I think that where we are technologically, there's a lot of room for advancements.